the comics have become a really integral part of our public engagement work. This comic has just been printed and it's just come out, so we're really excited about launching it. We developed this latest one, which is on toxoplasmosis, with comic artist Edward Ross, who's based in Edinburgh. We're talking about, not just about the research that we do, but also about some of the techniques that we use, because we do, a lot, we do molecular based works, which is, which is quite hard to talk about in, in simple language, but the comics really help illustrate it, obviously, graphically. And we've really simplified the language, and each comic um, has a scientific advisor. So um, Dr. Lilac Shiner was the advisor for the Toxoplasmosis comic. So it's all based on actual research that we do here. It's based on actual people. It was really fun and exciting to be the lead character on a comics, uh, especially I'm happy to be a female scientist lead character on a comics. I think that's a really important thing to release out to the world more and more. We never wanted to fictionalize it too much. So we've always been interested in showing the parasites in a kind of more true form. We wanted to kind of give people an insight into actually what they look like, these kind of alien looking worms that are in you know, that, that, that are in your body if you're infected and the weird things they do is, is it's like a you know it's like a scary sci-fi movie and at the same time we want to show some of the realities of researching science and that it's not a sort of battle between good or evil we wanted to show a bit of that reality that it isn't necessarily a sort of life or death struggle it's this ongoing effort by a lot of scientists to find answers to these really puzzling questions that will hopefully one day lead to cures, but in the meantime just allow us to understand the parasites better.